Hello, brothers and sisters. I hope all is well. I got something on my phone there. There you go. <laughs> hope you're having a fabulous day, and I hope uh, you're doing pretty good for a Tuesday. What's well, Tuesday here? I'm not sure when you're going to watch this. So, and whenever you do watch this, this is meant for you at this point, right? There's no timeline on reading cards. So, I got my new. Um, decks and I also I'm so excited got a new book now this book is how to love yourself I mean I'm pretty good at doing that but who knows because it's like a journal in there who knows what else I can learn about myself it's never it's never too late to learn right never too late to heal always be doing it I think till the day you leave <laughs> anyway this is the smallest deck I think I've ever had and it's this one is Louise Hayes uh, uh, affirmations for self-esteem now we all need to work on our self-esteem because you talk hardest to yourself and you know one thing when you take a look at how you speak to yourself on a daily basis and if you take time just to sit down and think about how you spoke to yourself that day, ask yourself, would you be your friend? If Would you be somebody's friend if you spoke to yourself the way that you, if you spoke to somebody or somebody spoke to you the way that you spoke to yourself? Probably not. <laughs> so why are you doing it to yourself? Let's stop that. Let's see what the universe wants us to know. So I'm going to use all new decks. They're all blessed and charged up and ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> what these fools ones were again? Oh, the self-esteem cards. Let's see what the self-esteem wants for us today. I definitely got to bring a table out to me. Oh, these are on two sides. Nice. I take a deep breath and allow myself to relax. My whole body calms down. And it does. You know, people do breathing exercises on a daily basis just to calm yourself down. Trust me, it helps. Your, uh, your brain gets more oxygen. And you know what? You can think clearer. It does not matter what other people say or do. What matters is how I choose to react. And what I choose to believe about myself. Hmm, weren't we just talking about that? <laughs> how you speak to yourself? And it's always about the reaction, right? It, you got to choose wisely on how you react to somebody. Because somebody else might be lashing out at you. And it has nothing to do with you. Okay, the next set of cards. These are called... I have to get them up. Power cards. Power thought cards. And these are on both sides as well. Oh my. I don't want to keep the video too long. <laughs> Let's get this on the road. Let's see what they have to say. I deserve the best and I accept the best now. Absolutely, we all deserve the best. Don't ever think that you don't. Oh, I have to call you back, Brenda. <laughs> I'm reading the cards. I am mentally and emotionally equipped to enjoy a prosperous and loving life. It is my birthright to deserve all good. I claim my good now. Absolutely. Claim your good now. Let's get into her. All right. So the next set. Um, so I've been talking about a lot lately about, lately about uh, we need to let go. As hard as it is, we need to let go. And I got these cards, uh, the letting go deck, because I think we should work on that. And maybe we'll get some guidance from the cards on how to work on that on a daily basis. So let's give her a go. See what they want us to work on today. These look like they're all double-sided. Anyway, the, uh, the last three decks. Alright, see what we need to let go. If we look at a situation and claim that a win, win solution is not possible, that should warn us that we have some unsurrendered inner feelings blocking a possible perfect solution so always thinking that you're gonna win win but if you're not looking at it as you're not gonna win you're not gonna get it we need to remember the dictum that the impossible becomes 
possible as soon as we are totally surrendered to the situation. Surrender yourself to the situation. And one of the things too is if you're not feeling the feelings and you're just kind of moving on in life, you're not really dealing with it. So, you know, remove that energy from the feeling that you're having and then pros um, process that feeling and then you can let it go and move forward. It's a process, right? Okay, so the deck is called Ask Your Guides Oracle. So this one's got a book to it. I got another set too that's got a book to it. And it looks really good. So we'll try the, go back and forth and try them out. These are pretty blue too, aren't they? All right, universe, what do you want us to hear today? What do you need the collective to know today? I hope you're taking care of yourself. And you know, I was listening to um, Mel Robbins. Um, I listen to a lot of her podcasts. I really like her. And one of the things she said today, and I think we're going to do it, is every morning when you get up, look into the mirror and give yourself a high five. And then she broke it down about um, how our brain reacts to that and how it changes our chemistry and stuff like that. So every morning get up and say, I'm going to have a good day and give yourself a high five and actually hit the mirror. Don't break it though. <laughs> Don't break the mirror. <laughs> but yeah, do that. Let's try it. I'm going to do it and we'll see how, how it does, eh? Caution. So that's the guardian angel. Caution. Okay. Need to be cautious about decisions you're making in your life. Let's see what the book says. Oh, does it go by? So it says number six. Yep, yeah, there it is. This is a different book as well. So your guardian angel is advising you to be cautious right now. Slow down and pay attention. There is no need for alarm. For you have not yet crossed the line of safety. However, you're being asked to listen to your intuition. And I keep telling you that. Listen to your intuition. That gut feeling, go with it. Acknowledge what does not feel right or safe and take a step back. Say no and walk away without hesitation. If you sense bad vibes, even if it makes no logical sense, this might mean saying no to the job offer that looks great on paper, but doesn't feel right deep inside. This might mean refusing a sign to sign a contract that others are pushing you to sign. Your guardian angel is sending you constant alerts to keep you safe. It is important to notice and heed your guardian angel's warning, big or small, no matter how much your ego resists. Take the ego out of the equation. Your life gets so much better. Some people got too big of an egos and they don't you're not living by their soul. It's not right. But that's I'm not judging. You do what you gotta do, right? But if you wanna live solely and authentically, you gotta leave that ego aside. However, the ego does come in handy every now and again. But you know, be cautious about it. Hmm, there you go, be cautious. There is no need for fear or overreaction for the danger can be avoided entirely simply by paying attention to the signals being broadcast your way. You don't have to explain your actions to anyone. If you feel something is not right, that is the explanation. That is enough. Right. That is awesome. So you got your name says something else on here. Your guardian angel's message to you. Pay attention to your intu intuitive warnings and quickly walk away from what doesn't feel right. No matter what, have no fear. I'm walking with you. You are protected. Isn't that a just beautiful card? I like that deck. <laughs> Actually, I seem to like them all. It's very, it's very nice, right? So it doesn't matter what people think, you know, and how you react. I mean, that's a good good card isn't it and take deep breaths and you know know that it's going to be okay right sometimes we stress over things just take deep breaths and it's going to be okay and you're emotionally equipped for the prosperous and loving life so it's your birthright and you deserve it and you need to start looking at your situation as a win-win instead of doubting yourself oh i hope it didn't stop I don't know if the video stopped. The calls keep coming in. 
I'm, I must have to do something anyway. So we need to remember that um, you need to totally surrender yourself to the situation sometimes and just say, you know, let go, just let go. Anyway, so I'm going to leave that with you and I hope you have a blessed day and I hope it didn't get interrupted there with the phone call coming in. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos, like and share and subscribing and I'm hoping you are going to have a restful evening, morning, afternoon, whenever you're watching and uh, make sure you um, help a sister out over here. I do appreciate it and share, like and all the good stuff. Anyways. You have a good day and we'll talk to you soon and sending love and light. Bye for now.